Welcome everyone to your numerology reading for August. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on with you and your numerology for this month. Let's see. And we're talking about the present. We're not talking about the whole month, just the present right now, what's going on, what is being called to you. Um, we're talking about this new beginning. You might be seeing a lot of ones going on in the present. Um, talking about that new beginning, talking about things opening up, talking about creating a fresh new start. could just be within energy. It could be within thinking. Um, really important things that are, you know, start catapulting around you. Um, you might feel like there's a lot more encouragement going on around you. So new beginnings aren't always, you know, just goals um, and stuff like that. A lot of times it's just energy and the way you're thinking and moving around situations. Um, talking about observation. So observing a lot more. We're talking about this new new beginning of observation. Things are, you know, kind of catapulting around you. Um, you might be feeling a lot better. Maybe you were feeling a little more stressed, and now you feel this new beginning of this new energy of positivity and really observing things around you to make you happy, to see these new beginnings starting to happen as you're opening up to the situations. Four, talking about that stability. Three, talking about that... <clears throat> That happiness, that newfound energy within yourself, something that encourages you and makes you want to, you know, really take on the world. Um, you have the one plus the two also talking about the new beginning and also the patience with balance. So feeling like you do have a little more balance. Um, could be doing what we call the balancing act. This situation will improve knowing and observing that the situation is improving around you. Um, like I said, a lot of you it could just be energy in itself. But there is a lot of strength and courage that you're really stepping into at this time. Um, and really, you might not know exactly where you're going. You might not know exactly how everything's going to work out, but that's okay. You know, it's, it's, it's okay, right? It, you have this brand new idea of things that are going around you, right? Whether it's the new opportunities that can present themselves within your relationships, your home, your career, your goals, your travel, your study, whatever you're embarking on. Um, it just feels like this new, exciting, new way of thinking about things. Maybe you've kind of pulled things together in different areas. Uh, let's get some cards over here. And it's saying the situation will improve because the more you open up about the situation and see it from different points of view, the more it kind of changes around you. And it, it is changing around you because you have this brand new, new beginning. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Yeah, where well, you felt a little sad, you might have been felt like you were kind of stuck against a wall, um, a little anxiety, uh, might even be some peer pressures from other people around you, however it is, but you definitely feel like you're, you know, recognizing the situation at hand. If you're dealing with someone else, you can see what's going on, you know, around you with this person and being able to feel like you can either step away from it or, you know, uh, find a resolution to the situation um, by kind of calling it out. I feel like for some of you with the Three of Pentacles, it's kind of like I'm putting you kind of on a pedestal. I'm going to call you out on this because you need to know exactly what's going on within the situation. That will actually change the situation that you're in. Um, and this will allow you to go forward, but you're also allowed to look out on the horizons as you're opening up to really be able to see what is out there, to see what you can have. Um, there's a, you know, beautiful big world out there uh, full of so many opportunities. And this is going to allow those stresses, stresses and pressures to come off of you. I feel like you're kind of maybe even a little in your own solitude um, time right now, kind of you doing you at this moment. Um, I am kind of feeling this energy where it's like I'm feeling a little bit more better being kind of alone. Um, I'm feeling like, you know, throughout all the limitations that were going on, I do feel like maybe, you know, I'm kind of, you know, like maybe you're a little more relaxed, a little more calm, a little more in this state of kind of doing, you know, you doing you type of thing. Um, yeah, because there's a lot of pressures going on. So definitely to get to your nine of cups. So I do feel like right now, you know, within this new beginning, the observation of you is just kind of kicking back, relaxing, look at things around you. And this is really going to bring you to your nine of cups. Um, especially within the energy that you're looking at as you're really taking on this new beginning over here. 
sometimes we just need a little bit of alone time just to be able to kind of work out the kinks and you know see what's going on around us this is very refreshing for your soul and for yourself and it keeps your mind from getting boggled down from all these things um, you know so this way you can actually move in the directions you want to move in you know going with the flow doing the things you want to do but really you know it's still no matter what it's still going to be a step-by-step -step kind of process going on within this situation let's get a daily healing card and see what's going on with you my friends I will be getting the mid-month out after this. Um, it will be the 23rd through the 27th or the 24th through the 27th. So one way or another. See how fast I can get them up, right? Okay. I've been working on my other job, so it, trying to devote myself, talking about devoting, devote yourself to discovering the highest truths, talking about devoting my own, my own stuff, um, so I kind of feel you on that area, devoting time over here and there, I'm multitasking a lot, so, and it feels like maybe you are as well, or you will be, hmm, right, uh, make gentleness a habit, and this is pretty much within yourself, making sure that you're gentle to yourself as you're moving around. The gentleness is just not allowing any stress, anxieties, or worries. Just knowing that you are exactly where you're supposed to be going. And, you know, your ships will come in. He's waiting for the ship. Your ship will come in. And uh, just knowing that that is going to happen. It's just all about perfect timing and the way that things have to move. Um, to feel your innate sense of truth, develop open-mindedness. Which I love that because over here it says you're going to what? Open up. Open up to the situations, observe the situations, know what's coming, have a better understanding of where it is. You can reap the rewards for this time. And like I said, most of this reading is really about how your energy is really kind of shifting and changing as your perception is kind of noticing, hey, you know what? Maybe I don't want to do this, but I want to do that. So a lot of change in perception and a lot of energy change as well. So I love that. If you're dealing with another person, I will grab some romance angel cards. Yep, keep an open mind. Wow, a lot of open-mindedness going on in this reading. We're having a retreat. Now, that's kind of interesting because that reminds, reminds me of what I just said earlier. Maybe you're just kind of doing yourself. Maybe you're kind of retreating from the world a little bit. Um, you know, just relaxed, calm, taking care of yourself, feeling, you know, maybe even a little bit better not being around people at this moment. <clears throat> um, so that could be a great thing. Okay. And until next time, my friends, peace and love. Bye-bye.